More foreign beer, Jesus Christ. Now this one is gonna be a fucking challenge. Zivoloskia Hellas Shank Beer. Welcome to another edition of Bands, Bikes and Booze Reviews. I think that's probably the most amount of foreign words I've said in one sentence. And to be honest, I don't really feel comfortable with it. <laughs> this is a Russian beer. Well, it's, they say it's a Russian beer. It's from the Baltica company. And if you know anything about them, they brew Baltica beer, which you can get over here. It's not that popular. You normally find it in the bargain basement stores like B&M and stuff like that. I've reviewed it on the channel and it ain't great to be honest. And this stuff, they tried to introduce it into the UK on the coattails of the Baltica stuff because it is brewed by that company. They're based in St. Petersburg and it didn't prove popular. Somehow there's a supermarket around the corner that's selling it and all the alarm bells are ringing with me. Now, I've discovered this supermarket around the corner that's just opened up and it's got a load of foreign beer in it. And I've, this afternoon I've been drinking Lithuanian beer. And to be honest, it ain't great. And I was telling a mate of mine and he said, beer further, that goes further east than the Czech Republic or Hungary is not very good. And I have to say, I'm sort of agreeing with him and I've got this one here and the, the only reason I picked it up is because they called it a Hellas Shank beer and I, I don't know why I, I picked it up but it had them words Hellas Shank beer Shank beer in German I think it means bar beer or something like that Shank means bar in German so I'm assuming that's what it means it's just like a a, a bog standard lager and I really didn't know what to expect. I saw the Cyrillic on it and I thought, well, I've got to try it. And yeah, I'm sort of half regretting it now, but it's, it's one of them things. It's 4% as well. And let me just go into the history of the brewery. They've been around years and during the early Soviet era in the sort of 1930s, this was the only beer you could get. And it was brewed by, I think at one point, over 700 breweries and there was no real regulation on it. They allowed, I think it was 15% of adjuncts to be added into the, the, the mash. So you can imagine what sort of adjuncts were going in there. I imagine it was all sorts because at the time, in the 1930s, Russia really wasn't that fucking awash with foodstuffs. And if you've sort of read the, the history of it. I mean, in, in the 30s, there was a famine in the Ukraine that was created by Stalin in an attempt to wipe out the Ukrainians. I mean, fucking hell, people going about the Nazis, but Jesus Christ, the Soviets will fucking definitely, well, I wouldn't say they'll give them a run for the money, they'll fucking surpass them with the shit that they carried on with, but this ain't a show for politics. Um, I've, I really have got apprehensions about drinking this, but somebody's got to do it, and Baltica, I'm assuming, is the same distributor in the UK, which is Carlsberg. So all the fucking connotations that come along with Carlsberg are packed into this beer, along with all the other shenanigans that go on with Carlsberg. And a uh, little tidbit of information here, uh, beer wasn't even considered an alcoholic drink in Russia up until a few years ago. Vodka was the only real alcoholic drink beer was just you could get these in vendor machines in schools and stuff like that in universities it was like yeah you could buy a coke or a beer i mean it's fucking crazy when you think about it but i suppose when you compare it to vodka the abv is just nowhere near it 
Now, as I say, I've got reservations about this and I, I don't think it's going to impress me. This could potentially be a rent. So buckle up, this could be a bumpy ride. It's not even fucking 500 mil to start off with. It's 0.47. That's Carlsberg bean counting at its finest, you fucking wankers. So there we've got that out of the way. It's 4%. Again, you know, 4%. I, I don't know why that is. Hellas shank beer. I should really look that up with the definition of a shank beer. It could be a, a session beer, bar beer. Yeah, that would make sense. Yeah, yeah, that sort of does make sense now. I'm guessing here, but I'm imagining a shank beer is like a, what we in the United Kingdom would call a session beer, which basically means you could drink a lot of it and it's not going to get that drunk, and the ABV is 4%. So yeah, this, I would imagine, is effectively a session lager. Right, okay. <laughs> More alarm bells. Let's get it open, let's see what's going on. Why do I do this? Why am I doing this? This could end up down ye oldy fucking toilet. Cap is brass. Nothing to see here. Let's get it into the glass. I think this is, well, if you consider the other Baltica beer, I'm sure that was brewed in not Russia, somewhere, maybe France. That's where all bad beer is brewed, isn't it? There it is in the glass. It looks like a lager. Uh, small bubbles, one and a half finger head, white head. Typical Carlsberg. I can see why they bought out Marston's now because their beer smells of fuck all as well. It smells of nothing. Uh, and I'm struggling now, I really am. There's just nothing there. There really isn't. And look, do you know what? It doesn't even fuck it. Well, it's 0.47%. Four, it doesn't even fill the fucking glass up. You wankers. There's nothing. There is literally nothing from that. God almighty, why am I doing this? Well, there it is. Let's get it down, my fat Gregory Peck. What have I done to deserve this? Bottoms up. Wow, this is the first. A beer that literally tastes of nothing. There's no discernible flavour. The last beer I had like this was uh, Tiskia. And that tasted of nothing. It was just a pure palate cleanser. This is very, very similar. To me, that could be fizzy water. I know it's 4% and it's, well, what would you call it? It's made by Carlsberg. A word of advice, if you see anything with the word Carlsberg on it, or Marston's, just fucking avoid it. Because taste is not a priority to them. This really does taste of nothing. And that's some feat. You have to be some kind of fucking brewer to come up with a beer that just doesn't taste of anything. Reminds me of them little French dumpies. You know the little dumpies you get when you stow the booze cruises over to Calais or Boulogne or somewhere? It'd be flick knives, bangers and dumpies. 
and the dumpies didn't taste of anything. Mind you, they were about fucking 3% and all, because the frogs can't handle their beer, can they? They drink wine. Fucking wrong ones. I wonder they lost the fucking Napoleonic Wars. No, there's nothing, there's no aroma. There's just nothing there. That could be fizzy water, coloured fizzy water. No label with the ingredients, or is there? There's something about this, that is, it's got German writing on it, it's from Hamburg. So this has come over from Hamburg. Yeah, I can see why. Germans didn't want, it, want this fucking fouling up their decent beer over there. Unless, I think this is probably the German market. That's what it is. This was brewed by Baltica. For, what, if you was in Germany, why the fuck would you buy this? Really, I seriously question people if they was in Germany and they went into a supermarket and bought this. Do you know what, even if they was giving this away in Germany, I wouldn't fucking take it because it'd be taking up room that I could put decent beer in that I would have to pay for. This is fucking dog shit. I can't believe it, it's come from Germany. It's in important von, von means of or from. Baltica Deutsch, Deutschland GmbH, Glocken Gerswal or something, which is in Hamburg. Fucking I'm trying to, I, I can, I, I defy anybody in Germany. Who would buy this in Germany? If you bought this in Germany, I'm not going to say it on here because it's pro some people might get offended, but it begins with C and ends in T. You really would, if you bought this over any German beer. Oh, I don't get it. I, I fucking do not get this at all. And I was suckered in by that Helles Schenk beer. I thought maybe it's it's a German beer. And then the Cyrillic right in front. Well, I, I deserve, I deserve it. Because, yeah. <sighs> nah, I'm not gonna take another mouthful, fuck that. I can't be asked. Bollocks. So what's the verdict on Zhivloskia Hellas Shank beer? I don't even think it's called Hellas Shank beer. I'd love to see what it's called in the UK. I've never seen this the first time I've seen it in the UK. Um, it's dog shit. It's fucking rubbish. That's going, that's going to go down the sink. It tastes of nothing. It tastes of absolutely nothing. It's one of them beers. Even, and do you know what? It fucking pains me to say this, but Budweiser has even got little, a little bit more flavour than this fucking bullshit. I'm, I don't know why I'm wasting my time. I'm going to give it a 1 out of 10, and I'm being fucking generous there. That is 1 out of 10. Don't buy it. And if you're in Germany and you buy this, well, as far as I'm concerned, you're a fucking bell end. You really are. You're putting this stuff in your fucking bag. If this was, what is it they use in Europe? Is it cents? I don't know. If this was 10 cents, I wouldn't fucking buy it. Nah, bollocks. One out of 10, not recommended. And remember, I'm drinking this shit, so you don't have to. <laughs>